This is episode number 18, Don't Be Weary in Well-Doing. What's going on? This is Quaman Fowler coming to you with another podcast. This is uh, the Texas Tenor Podcast, and this is the place where I inspire you creating from the heart and soul. And this is pretty exciting time because I'm releasing my new CD entitled With You. So this is really the shortest distance or the shortest time that I've created (laughs) a CD because we did it in April. We went in the studio. It was just a five hour block here in uh, the the Dallas area, January Sound Studio. And I was um, really Uh, you know, fortunate to be able to get some great musicians in there for that five hours. And we knocked out seven songs. So I have seven songs available. Actually, one is uh, we recorded twice with you. We did a version that's a samba. And then we did a version that is actually a groove that we discovered right there in the studio. So it's going to be Terrence Hobdy on the drums. We also have Matt Young on the drums. And, uh, we had Young Heo on the bass. He played upright. We have uh, Alan Johnson, who guest appeared on the uh, piano. Of course, he uh, had to overdub his stuff. He wasn't here in Dallas. Actually, he came that next week or, no, a few weeks later because it was the anniversary. But uh, he wasn't in the studio, but I had him lay piano on top of what we had. We had uh, Addison Fry, who came in from New York. Uh, he played piano on the project. And um, vocals, we had Shalia James, who just graduated uh, from uh, the school I teach at. And so um, she uh, has been on my last couple projects. So I had to squeeze her in there before she left to go uh, to her new destination. So um, it was a great experience. Um, We had some people to join us in the studio to be a part of the, the whole experience. And I did stream it for those people who paid to have access to it. And um, we got some video captured, so pretty soon the video will be ready, uh, and I'll uh, demonstrate, not demonstrate, but I'll uh, share some of the video with you so that you can um, enjoy the new music from the new project with you. So uh, it's very exciting uh, to be able to finish another CD, and this one is my seventh one, actually, so um, I'm really uh you know glad to continue to produce and continue to share music with you so that it is a blessing and inspiration to you out there okay so uh the other thing in terms of how i'm going to release it um this i well you know some of you all know how i do it i'll release it it'll be available you can get you an autographed copy actually uh, by going to my website, uh, kwamonfowler.com forward slash with dash you. And there you can actually get, um, you know, get a autographed copy sent to you. We'll mail it to you. And um, as soon as they're pressed up, they will be sent out to you. Also, I decided decided to do a uh, jump drive. So I'll do a flash drive. And this will have all of my music. Uh, from 2000 up to 2008 so that includes all of my cds all seven of my cds and uh, i'll put that together and have that available to be sent out to you um, if you would like to get everything on a flash drive so i'm going to try that this time and see how that goes um, and see if uh, people will bite i know a lot of people um, want to access uh, my music and also um, I'm thinking about putting some sheet music together and having that available for those who want to get the uh, sheet music to some of my songs. So I'm, I'm working on that and that will be available on my website, KwamanFowler.com. So, um, yeah, so I wanted to share some stuff with you um, pertaining to this idea. Don't be weary in well doing. And this actually comes from a scripture in the Bible, Galatians 6 and 9. And it says, and let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. Now, this is what made me want to talk about this because I've uh, worked with a lot of students, helping them to develop and encouraging them to continue to practice so that they can uh, hit their goal. 
a lot of musicians, young guys, uh, saxophonists, you know, I've uh, talked with, they want to be able to uh, perform, they want to be able to um, to record and um, just create some nice music, create good entertaining or uh, music with depth in it. And in my particular area, you know, I teach uh, how to improvise and I focus a lot of my attention on uh, jazz and getting the language together with uh, within the, the realm of jazz. Of course, you can use that and apply it into any genre, any style that you would like. So, you know, with anything, whatever the profession that you're in, you have to practice and you have to really uh, focus and uh, it takes time. There's a journey that uh, you go on and it's a lot of different components that go into your development and really helping you to sound good okay so uh but i wanted to go into this scripture actually the verse bef before it and after it this is galatians 6 and 8 it says for he that soweth to his flesh shall of the flesh reap corruption but he that soweth to the spirit shall of the spirit reap life everlasting. Then it goes into the, the focus scripture and let us not be weary in well-doing for in due season we shall reap if we faint not. And here's the scripture 610 of Galatians. As we have therefore opportunity, let us do good unto all men, especially unto them who are of the household of faith. So now this is a letter that Paul wrote to the church, but I wanted to bring this into context. So when we go back to that first verse in uh, Galatians 6 and 8, he says, He that soweth unto the flesh shall, uh, shall reap corruption, and he that soweth unto the spirit shall reap life everlasting. This makes me think about what's your motive, right? Now, there's a lot of superficial reasons that could drive a person to want to uh, be famous or to want to play an instrument or quote unquote be a rock star or whatever fame fortune and all of that where there's this motive that I just want to be seen I want people to clap for me I want to be celebrated I want um, all of the material things I want to travel I want to uh, show off show that I'm traveling from different country to country I want people to see me on the stage all of that's superficial and that's not really uh, worth pushing forward to 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 go after. I mean, you know, that those type of things come, but that's not where the end should be. Your end goal, it shouldn't be there. You know, we use music as a way to uh, encourage others uh, to make people uh, feel a certain way. We set atmospheres. We uh, are able to express the music in our heart and our soul, and it really can affect people's lives. It shapes people's lives. You know, it shapes culture. So music is a very powerful tool. So your motive, you have to have the right motive first and foremost. And really, when you are uh, when you're of the, the knowledge of, of who Christ is, you know, first of all, you know that it's all about uh, pleasing him. And being a blessing to the Lord as we live our lives in this in this earth, we want to make sure we're fruitful for his kingdom. So first and foremost, that needs to be at the foundation of your heart so that your motive will be right. When we play music, we're playing music from a place of giving God glory through what we do, not us getting the glory just because we might think we're good and we might think we're better than other people it's not about being uh, the best or being better than other people it's more so about just communicating what's on your heart so that you can be a blessing to the Lord you know and see here's the thing um, when you have that focus when you create music when you practice when you're aiming at that then you're shooting way high above all of the superficial things and this is what happens it's kind of like what happened with Solomon in the Bible because Solomon he was awarded the position to be king 
but he was young and he asked God for wisdom. He said he needed wisdom so that he can be a good king, a good a good leader. And so God not only blessed him with that wisdom, but he was the richest man in the Bible or just period. You know, he was the richest man ever. He had everything. And so here's the here's the key. All of the monetary things that come along with uh, being good and being skillful, those things will come. But that's not where your heart should be. Your heart should be on something deeper. Your heart should be set on, you know, just being a blessing to the Lord with your talents and your gifts. And that way you'll supersede all of the the superficial attitudes and motives to where you're not you don't care if you're applauded for what you do. You don't care if you're seen or not. You don't really care if you travel or or you stay at the house and create music, you know, because your heart is fixed on something much more deeper and meaningful. I mean, here now being a, a father, I get a lot of pleasure just uh, being home and taking care of of my my daughter and my son and being there with my wife. Of course, it might not be as exciting as standing, being on the stage and people clapping for you and, and playing music and not saying that I don't play out anymore, but I'm just saying there's a deeper meaning and there's a deeper um, motive or drive uh, that I have. And that's first and foremost to be a good father, you know? And of course, the comp- is some components that go into it, of course, I am able to provide for my family through my musical talents and, and my giftedness uh, that I'm able to use through my music, you know, through selling music or teaching music and uh, uh, doing clinics and, and traveling and doing performances. You know, those things will definitely uh, help and benefit my family. So, but first and foremost, my uh, top priority is to be a great father and a great husband. Then all of the other things will fall in line. And um, I wanted to bring up, I want to tell you something that happened to me. Somebody called me, a friend of mine called me up and he's like, hey, uh, Quaman, um, man, we want to have you as a guest at our church. And I was like, okay, okay, when you when you uh, thinking about it, it's like, actually, it's this Sunday. I was like, oh, okay. So uh, he told me what they wanted. And so I was like, yeah, I can do it. And so I didn't uh, ask for a price. I didn't even give a number. I was just like, you know, whatever y'all want to do. And so make a long story short, I went and I played. I enjoyed myself. And uh, the guy gave me something. And then later when I got home, I opened it and I was like, whoa, I did not expect this on top of the uh the the fact when i was selling cd's i did very well with selling uh cd's so it was like uh over 20 uh cd's so it was a blessing but that was something that just totally came out of left field i mean i wasn't expecting that but this is what i'm talking about it's like when your focus is right your your motive is right and god sees what you need you know, and he will provide for you. He'll use um, he'll use you or he'll use your influence to uh, touch other people. And those other people will reach out for you because they know that, you know, when you play, you play from a certain sincerity or you play uh, your your motive and your your uh, heart is in a certain place. And that's the type of person they want to be around. That's the type of person that they want to play for, for them or, or that's the uh, type of person that they want to play for their family. You know, when when you have that type of focus, it will really uh, open up a lot of doors. You know, when you're not so focused on the money, if I would have named the price, maybe I would have uh, cut myself short because they wanted to go over and above what I'd even asked for. And that goes in that goes in line with the scripture. Uh, with uh, Ephesians 3 and 20, where it talks about now unto him that is able to do exceeding abundantly above all that we can ask for or think according to the power that worketh in us. So that scripture and these principles of, of God, I mean, they're principles, they're laws, they're in place and they will work, 
you know, regardless of us really having knowledge of them. I mean, these these are these are just laws that will work, you know. And so that's the thing. When you do things, you want to do the right thing and have your focus right and uh, don't get weary in doing good because I was able to reap, you know, just from playing uh, at a being a guest at a, another church and uh, they blessed me. It was it was a blessing. And of course, Lord, no know, Lord knows that we needed that, especially with this new girl, new little girl. And, and you know, there's so many expenses uh, when it comes to uh, having having a kid. So all of that was 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 a blessing. And so I just wanted to share that story. Let's go to this last little uh, verse here, uh, 610, because this is what uh, what happened, actually. Uh, with me as we have therefore opportunity let us do good unto all men especially unto them who are of the household of faith and that's one of the things that was done for me um, when I played at this church they they actually did apply this scripture they did good unto me and I was blessed by it because of my reputation my friend called me he thought about me first like he said and uh, we were able to connect and uh, we had a blessed time. And so things like that will happen. But your focus has to be right. If you want to just focus in on the money and you focus on the superficial stuff, I got to get that money. I got to get the girls. I, I want them to call my name. You know, people can tell. People know that and they won't want you around. I mean, you might be good. And of course, that'll get you so far. But but at the same time, you know, you don't want to be known for just being about the money because sometimes people will be like, well, I ain't going to call him because he's going to ask for too much. You know, sometimes people just want uh, to, to you to be around because they just like you to to be around. You know what I'm saying? You got to have the right motive and attitude. And uh, don't be weary and well-doing. Let's get back to this practicing thing. So I have some students that I'm working with, and, uh, you know, they think about, all of the, the the things that go into it or they, they see on the end goal. They might see musicians uh, traveling and putting out records and doing stuff like that. Man, I want to do that. Man, I want to do that. That's not that's not hard to do. To, I mean, you can play uh, to a level well enough where you can get a gig with a certain type of a group, but you, you really have to have your goal uh, in mind and um, stick to hitting your target because one of the things that I wanted to do is to play my own music and tour or do things with my own band. Um, And, you know, but at the same time, another goal was to be a a husband and to be a father. And so I have that in my heart. My gifting is really in teaching. I'm, I'm, um, you know, I do teaching. I do enjoy teaching, but of course I perform as well. But being a uh, father, you know, my priority, like I said before, is to make sure I'm around and I'm a, a supportive father for my family. That's my priority. So if I don't get a chance to travel as long uh, or, or do as much traveling because I have a family, that's OK, because my priority w- was uh, towards the family in the first place. You know, whereas other musicians, you know, they might have not factored in being a, a a father or factored in even being married so they uh continue to travel and uh, move around a lot because they're they uh don't want to settle down but whatever the goal was it's like once you get to that point okay it's like okay now what and what i find out what i find a lot of times you know people get tired of the road or guys will get tired of the road. It's like, man, I want to do something different. But because they didn't go to school, it's really a challenge for them to get a position in a college where they can uh, teach because they don't have the degrees, but they have the experience. But uh, it's, it's kind of challenging to figure out, um, you know, how, what you're going to do at that point because, you know, to play according to the rules, you got to you know, get the degrees like everybody else did in order to teach in the college. You just have to make a decision um, in the beginning what you want to do and don't make it about superficial things and just be diligent in practicing and stay focused on uh, getting to your goal. Um, and my goal 
was to be a blessing, to play music that was a blessing and not a curse, to create uh, music that would glorify uh, God and, and not myself. Uh, I wanted to create music that uh, touched people, inspired them, and encourage them, stuff like that, good stuff. It's enough music out there that promotes sin, that promotes things that are uh, not healthy, and I wanted to be a part of the the other side of it where I create music that uh, enriches the lives of people and encourages them in the things uh, that are good, the, the fruits of the Spirit, you know, love, joy, peace, goodness, faith, you know, all of those uh, things that are of the fruits of the spirit of God, the kingdom of God. That's what I wanted to be about. So that's that's what I wanted to share. I just wanted to encourage those out there listening. And of course, uh, if you are in a slump with your practicing, you know, most of the time it's because you're focusing, you're looking at the wrong things. You might be getting caught up on Facebook or Instagram and seeing what everybody else is doing and you're discontent and you um, feel like you're not making any progress, like this person, or you're you're not doing what you need to do, people are pressuring you, oh, you need to uh, do this, and you need to do that. Well, in order to make some progress, you need to cut off those those distractions, so that you can focus on what what you're doing. I remember hearing, you know, you've heard the saying, what God has for me is for me, and that's true. You know, what God has for you is for you. There's no competition for what you're going to do. Just focus on what you uh, want to do and practice and keep getting closer and closer. You chip away at it little by little each day, you know, by shedding, by practicing, by learning, transcribing, by playing, playing with others. You know, all these little things will help you get closer, creating music, uh, recording music. All of that helps. Okay, so just stay focused. Keep doing what you're doing. Don't be weary in well doing because you'll reap if you faint not. Don't quit, but just keep on going. That's my message for the day. And uh, that's it. That's it. So once again, this new CD will be available and ready to ship to you in a couple weeks from the release of this actual uh, podcast. So you can actually go and pre-order it now and uh, we will ship it to you, an autographed copy. Also, I will have those um, flash drives available to get all of my music. And um, I might throw in some sheet music in there. I just have to decide. But you'll see as a bonus, you'll probably get that if you order uh, soon. Okay, so that's it for now. Uh, Also, I want to encourage you to get my app. I did put the music in the app. So you can get my app, the Quaman Fowler app. Just search on iTunes or Google Play Store and it'll uh, be in there. And there is uh, the 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 on demand feature you'll have to sign up for. it. It's just four ninety nine a month and uh, that will give you access to all of my music. And I also did put an album or two uh, of of some friends in there. So um, so that's it. So that's all. So we will see you. Thank you so much for listening. And uh, make sure you c- follow me on Instagram, Quaman underscore Fowler. And uh, YouTube, I have two YouTube channels, one for Jazz Webshed. And also the other is Texas Tenor. So join me on YouTube, Facebook, Texas Tenor. And uh, I would love to connect with you. And for sticking around and listening to the whole podcast, here's a clip from the new CD. This is Island Dance. Thank you.